the Von Flu Choke. A killer way to counter people's guillotines when they try to choke your neck, you're gonna choke theirs. Let's check it out. Hey guys, Coach Tom here. I'm here today with Reese. I'm gonna have a look at a super cool choke. It was kind of popularized by uh, Jason Von Flute, who was a uh, season two of the Ultimate Fighter contestant, cool guy. And uh, you know, this choke uh, is a fantastic choke and it's a great way to counter the guillotine. In particular, I find it very useful for some of my students who uh, might have longer necks, like lankier teenagers, kids, stuff like this. And if people guillotine them, it's easy because they've got these long necks. So then they also have long arms to get an easy Von Flute choke. Uh, so this can be done from all sorts of different positions, but I like to teach it from side control because that's a better escape from the guillotine anyhow. So if I've got Reese here and he's got me in his clothes guard, okay, and uh, I make some mistakes, I've got some bad posture, and he undoes his legs and he sits up here to wrap a guillotine, okay? As soon as Reese goes to wrap a guillotine like that, the first thing I like to personally do is wrap my left arm over. The reason I'm doing that is to stop him having a high elbow guillotine. Just go for a Marcelo style high elbow guillotine. That. You're screwed. If a guy gets like that, you better hope you can pop your head out, you got a sweaty head. So the first thing I like to do is wrap over. And then what I like to do here is I like to jump up onto my feet and cartwheel over his left leg. Now you'll notice that my head was on his left side, so I jump my feet to the right side. If I try jumping this way, the choke will come on worse. So once I'm in this position here, I'm now going to grip my hands together. I do left hand palm down, right hand palm up, and I grip my hands together here. Now it's important that I try to squeeze my right shoulder to my ear here, so he can't get this hand out. Okay, I don't want him getting this hand out. I want it stuck in there so that I can now tripod up and put all of my weight through my left shoulder here and squeeze, 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 squeeze. And I just count to 20 and wait for this guy to tap. If you've got a small shoulder, this will go right into guy's necks. I often find that sometimes like a guy is really big and strong will have a hard time with this choke because he's got this big shoulder and it just doesn't go in the neck. But if I could get a female student or some 15 year old lanky skinny kid, he's gonna have a shoulder this wide and it's gonna drill right into your neck so quick you don't even know what hits you. So I'm here in Reese's guard and as soon as he wraps my neck, I go over, hand on the mat and I jump. Once I've cartwheeled over, I get my hands together, a thumbless gable grip and now I put my weight through my left shoulder and squeeze and I just wait and he has to tap. I love this one. As a bonus, sometimes you nearly tap guys, but you can't get it right. Maybe you're a big guy and your shoulder won't go on his neck. And you feel them let their hands go, just a little bit. So, I have him here, and I'm trying to choke him, but he's not choking, but I feel his hands let go. So when I feel his hands let go from here, I like to come over his head, and now I'll put my hand on the mat and I start prying his arm out. And now I'm gonna catch it. So I'm either gonna catch it, for an Americana, I'm in a Kimura here, or I'm gonna catch it the other way for an Americana, or I'm gonna catch it here for a straight arm lock. So sometimes when a guy's got you, if you can't tap him, if his hands let go, then I'm gonna pummel over and I'm gonna move my head out on the mat. Now I can grab his hand and get it off my head and now I can bully that thing. And I wanna play body weight plus two limbs onto one limb and find an Americana or a Kimura. Again, finishing like this or like this. I like both ways, okay? So there you have it guys, a Von Flew choke. Such an effective thing. Look, you can do this guys from the guard or half guard is pretty easy. But if he gets me from the guard here, I can do it from here like this. I can get him here, but he's also got a stronger choke from there and he's more resilient to my pressure from there because his legs can stop my hip weight coming forward and falling onto his neck. But if you're caught, hey, you might as well squeeze him back. He's squeezing your neck, might as well uh, even the odds. Thanks for watching guys. Von Flu Choke, check it out, it's a great choke. Take care, I'll see you next time.
Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you loved it. For more free videos, click here. And if you'd like to get our free Foot Lock Master Course, please click here. And if you'd like to help support me so I can help bring you high level Jiu Jitsu for free every day, please click here. Thank you for watching guys, I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time.